So we just got these axles back from the anodizing shop. That took a couple weeks, longer than I was expecting. Um, but the end result, as you can see here, um, this will slide on like so. And now this tube here, right now it's just sort of a press bit over the axle itself. So we're gonna need to drill and pin that in so that all the torque here is transmitted to this sleeve tube. And then we're gonna drill and tap uh, probably three or four bolts that are gonna anchor that sleeve to the trike frame here. Um, but even if those were to fail, it's positively locked again spinning just by the cutout shape here that we have. Pretty excited to build up these motors so we can actually try electrifying the trike. Greentech Artisan Motors. That, yeah, that I might just file off that high spot there. Yeah, um, yeah we could check, check it out, it out later. Later. Uh, we could have it. Too late for checking out later now. Um, but yeah, that's good. So that's going to hold the dowel pins in perfectly well so that those will never risk uh, wiggling their way loose. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, the other option, of course, we could have welded the two together, but I'm worried that would have just it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that looks awesome, Robbie. Yep. I'm, uh, and then the covers, are they over in the oven over here? Oven should be done, actually. Let's have a look. Robert? Right out of the oven. Oh, hot green. Robbie? Uh, Arthur, thanks for having that green paint. <laughs> Let's have a look, actually. Uh, this is going to look over on the tray right here. Uh, it's like a pretty good paint pack. Not totally perfect, but I think separated by the plaster black uh, cover plate, you won't really notice the difference. So. Okay, well, that was a bit of a bust. So I thought I would save some time by preemptively painting the ring of the motor green before doing the whole motor assembly so to get a nice clean edge on it. Um, when we build these motors, what we do is bond uh, the magnet ring to one of the side cover plates with a super strong thermally cured epoxy adhesive and the side cover holds the magnet ring nice and circular so that it can be assembled and disassembled without the ring sort of collapsing from the magnetic force. Um, so I went ahead and after painting these things green did the chemical, the epoxy bonding to the side cover plate and uh, expecting me to be able to assemble these motors fairly easily uh, during our normal grid motor manufacturing process. Um, but the moment that they snap together, the impact forces literally pulled the side cover right off the ring. And that's because the epoxy and the paint effectively fused together into a non-cured mushy mess. And you can see here that, uh, that in the process of removing this, when it pulled itself off, it just stripped the paint right off the side of the ring. So I had to spend quite a bit of time just cleaning out the gunky mix of epoxy and paint that filled up that groove in here. I'm now going to have to sand and acetone clean this to expose that right down to bare metal and then re-attempt to do the, the bonding of this ring so that I can assemble the motor. Um, but here you can see it with the completed customized axle. So the extensions now permanently affixed to the motor axle. There's three dowel pins uh, that are retained by this aluminum sleeve. So I had some concern with just the dowel pins themselves to lock the two pieces together, that with the constant back and forth of regen and thrust, that there could be some chance that those pins may be able to wiggle themselves a little bit loose. And I didn't want them walking themselves out of the motor. We've got an axle that stops them from moving on the inside, and this retainer sleeve should stop the pin from moving outwards. And that should ensure that these pieces stay uh, effectively bonded like a single unit. Um, so now the other annoyance of the motor, of the side cover popping off with that adhesive mount holding is that now to actually pull this ring off the stator is a very difficult challenge. I have nothing to grab onto and this is overlized by the magnetic force of attraction and I don't have a 100% success rate getting these, things, these two things apart so I might have to make a little jig to help with that. <coughs> Boom! And it's intact. Last time it just separated in two. And so now we just have to seat that bearing and put a sealant on the mating side cover plate so that it's got all the joints totally sealed up so that we don't have any concern for state or a leakage. <laughs> no! Died on the last screw.